this error, perhaps as a dead bears or a hare darts the hill, the heart like a harp, the first note struck, the start starts. As are the stars in the sky, black shawl above us, I am startled and sparkle into utterance. What are the chances that we might harness the high hats of discordance, the low fathoms of the dominion's drums gone wrong and misstepping? And what song will be sung, and to which from? What are the chances we might begin to dance again? In the nursery, we learned the binary band mind is king, and we became unone so that two opposing songs can string our tendons and bones between the maudlin and mayhem and heaven and harmony of our dualism. Sarah, last night I dreamed that the black crow entered the room again and took this omen as my cue. I struck my persona between the trash can lids of the moment's fabrications and the decibels detritus to ignite my atoms and my gall, my signature scars, my exit wounds into semblance of tune like a fork in the ground that mediates one note, the hymn of the earthborn heaven, the ground's gravel-tongued song. Sarah, let our dirge murder the ballad and the ballot box, this larynx-hummed anthem, a continuum reflection to further embolden the urban dawn in a Sodom, simmering, its hems burning before the uprising. Sarah, is this correspondence corresponding? <laughs> Have I begun to sing? Peggy! The octave, somebody divided into 12 notes. In real terms, the division of the octave could be 64 or 604. What should we call these notes? A human body, two octaves harmonious, a higher sound wave folds neatly twice into a lower one. So here the song, it heightens more questions than it answers. A crow in the garden, fighting the two magpies, the magpies fighting the squirrels, and a trap fox screaming, scrabbling in the night. Miggy, all of the songs, the music in the world, all here at once. Cacophony. Sometimes my blood pressure drops and I hear the sound of metal tearing. Sheets clattering, booming sounds that has left my ears ringing for weeks on end. Split into two. Zero one, zero zero one, zero zero one one, zero zero one, zero zero one knot. The dark shawl of the sky wraps itself around my shame. Never what my mother wanted me to be, out of tune with the rest, wrestling with material that seems immovable, fall on the edges, pushing out, opening imaginary objects. I don't approve of anything. <laughs> no eyes and no feet to dance with. No whisper, not voice, a fig meant for a tree your imagination, what needs, what my needs are, or what do you want them to be? Shall I fold my, sal my two selves into two for you? How does a person heard and, uh, be heard without incriminating themselves? Maybe? Sarah. Dear Sarah, <laughs> sometimes there are so many notes, so many notations soldered into the scales and poles of the denizens, of the domicile, of the locale, of my atoms' solemn lamentations. I sing ole to all of them. If sentience is present, then maybe this presentiment is a sound. To the soul somnamb somnambulists, each step taken is a note engraved upon the scored scroll of a life's music. Somewhere in the sands of time and the hounds of the hours, Maybe we have mislaid our motion, our movements become intransigent. We sit, dormant agents of an instrument in ruin. Are we the music we can no longer play, the rhythm out of time with its own tides? To hear this music is to arrive like ghosts aboard the unmoored doom drum in the hour of discord. To board this fractured accordion is to be anointed, is to be crucified. 
I hear the churning venture of a sonic accord poured outward into a world wild and warm and almost heaven in its hellishness. Always the fractured shards of the haunted Padova sing harder, sound loudest, widest, farthest than the whole halves ever have. Sarah, we are the ascendant descendants of the cindered splinter orchestra. We are the sound fire made. We are the fire made sound. Maggie, invisibility. Here, open my mouth to speak, beetles run out. Every time. People look away. Lucky, mouthed words can be written down. Can you read silence? Whispers or body language. Poor, feminine, people. They're moving shadow like. I move in shadow like. Be careful when you walk along the edges in the dark. Have philosophy. Have a silent maternal body. This tune, microtonal, is about the undance. Sarah. Dear Sarah, the most discordant effect detected is the perpetual rhetoric of the dominant politic. The heretics of utterance affect the auditory apparatus <coughs> with the defection of their calamitous poisonous pitch. The pond of communal sound, the ravine of the commonplace communique is infected. Fat cats pasting with thunder the bass drums of their basest instincts. The toads of industry hollering their croaking odes to the crocuses of commerce. The blood rackets make a racket and though the wheel turns, the rat lies comatose and the rhythm loses all repose and the orchestra cannot reprise its purpose or its chorus. When we open our lips, if truth is absent, our mouths emit the refracted light reflected from a star deceased. This indecent incandescence shall coruscate the circus, the diocese, the nest. The sound of abounding abdication without shame or boundary has been heard and was said by some to be deafening, which means that some among us have denied hearing it. The sound denied is the sun going down, behind the moon, going out in the mind, upon the tongue, the one ear, mouth, eye, closing. Maybe cover up, cover down, cover all around. Tongue on beetles, tongue out, tongue in. Brazenly crush, brazenly show, brazenly beat. Brazenly sell. Product information available in small print. Small hands, small girls, product information available in code at the back in the smalls. Code for underage. Product available in car parks or delivered by taxi. Product displayed on walls. Capitalist merchandise, money making through penis function, ego function, unranged desire for created needs. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Beatles clicking. Fingers clicking, cell phones clicking, clock, clock. Dear Sarah, everywhere, assurances suited by uncertainties, wondering whether this symphony of our symptoms, the crashing symbols of our symbols, is a triumphant overture or our apologia obituary. Is the one bell of our time ringing out to sound our beginning or to signal our end? Is the pole between hope and despondency a circumstance, a choice, or a frequency? In my delinquency, I play optimism upon my bones out of synchronicity with the present moment's abysmal drift into the dismal abyss of morbidity. I persist so that this nuisance urchin may resist and not perish. Please locate my station, tune out and tune in to this purgatory scallywags, Chagrin Din. Dear Chagrin Din, <laughs> there is a scar in the city, in the sky above the road, a grey smudge, profit waving at the windows on the cheek. 
This eye saw points. Darken finger shaking at austerity. Waiting oaks and nunnery. Working conditions, my grandfather, mine shaft, mine shaft, we were all afraid of falling. This scar city in the sky above the road, a grey smudge, prophet waving at windows on the cheek. This eyesore points, darkened fingers shaking at austerity, waiting, oaks and nunnery. Working conditions, my grandfather, mine shaft, mine shaft, we are all afraid of falling. Dear Sarah, I shall sing for you now the song of the Haygate estate on the days and nights it was demolished. With a sterile still distinguished as gentle and genteel, the gentry laid waste to a century of community. This is the sound of the civil contract in flames. This is the sound of a thousand homes in the jaws of a bull beggar. This is the sound of the untold bones in the belly of a bulldozer. This is the sound of a million spades in the hands of a million grave diggers. Sarah, in South London we are not born in the sound of bow bells, but the sound of the wheels of William Blake's satanic mills. As Billy Boyce said, the human organ is a seven whole flute, an instrument in accordance with the cosmic orchestra. And Sarah, as Blake be our witness, let us give this dissonant moment its dissidence. Sarah, let us put the disco into discord and like a legion of drums ablaze above Albion, be holden and dumb, be over and done. The conflagration's one congregation. Dear Miggy, local millers were seen dancing on Blackfriars Bridge in the light of the flames, which was thought to be subversive. The nights are drawing in. Was this the shortest summer? Snow fell in June and July. It was said that this would lead to the lower orders against their betters. Would lead to the lower orders against their betters. Is the radicals radical? Is the radicals radical? Free radicals can be destroyed by your five a day. Miggy, be careful, Sarah. Dear Sarah, sometimes I feel the only honest response to this world is to break apart and let the pieces sing. Sometimes I feel the only honest response to this world is to break apart and let the pieces sing. Sometimes I feel the only honest response to this world is to break apart and let the pieces sing. Dear Sarah, sometimes I feel the only honest response to this world is to break apart and let the pieces sing. Dear Miggy, Dolly saw the girls on the street. Fiona saw a lot of things a child shouldn't see. Horses aren't naturally aggressive, but thundering into Trafalgar Square. What else is hidden under cladding? Cuts, prices slashed, discount products, merchandise, we can see. Can see, see, see. What can't we see? Am I invisible? <laughs>